Hey tech enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel. In today's Ultimate Showdown, we're pitting two titans against each other, the sleek Dell XPS 13 and the versatile HP Spectre X360 14. Which one reigns supreme in 2025? Stick with us until the very end and you'll know exactly which laptop deserves your hard-earned cash. Don't forget to check the description for the latest prices and deals, and a quick like on this video truly helps me out. Let's dive in! The Dell XPS 13 Copilot Plus and the HP Spectre X360 14 present distinct approaches to design and build quality, each with its own set of trade-offs. Dell leans into a minimalist aesthetic with the XPS 13, featuring a sleek unibody aluminum chassis that feels undeniably premium. The seamless integration of the invisible touchpad and the capacitive function buttons contribute to its clean look, though these design choices introduce potential usability quirks. Locating the trackpad can be less intuitive than with a traditional design, and the lack of tactile feedback on the function row might frustrate touch typists. In contrast, the HP Spectre utilizes a CNC-milled aluminum chassis with an anodized finish, exuding a similarly high-quality feel. While slightly heavier, its convertible form factor with a robust 360-degree hinge offers greater versatility. HP also emphasizes sustainability with recycled materials in its construction. When it comes to ports, the divergence between the two laptops becomes more pronounced. The XPS 13 offers a very streamlined selection, providing only two USB-C, Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 ports, and omitting a headphone jack, USB-A, HDMI, or an SD card slot. This minimalist approach necessitates the use of dongles or a dock for users needing to connect legacy peripherals or external displays, which might be inconvenient for a laptop in its price range. The HP Spectre, while also embracing USB-C with two Thunderbolt 4 USB 4 ports, includes a drop-jaw USB-A port and a 3.5mm audio jack directly on the device. Furthermore, HP bundles mini-docks with HDMI and additional USB ports, addressing connectivity needs more directly without requiring immediate additional purchases. The Spectre X360 14, however, also lacks an SD card slot and dedicated internal storage for its magnetic stylus. Both offer distinct visual and input experiences. The XPS 13 in the reviewed configuration features a 13.4-inch IPS non-touch display with a 1920 by 1200 resolution. While not an OLED panel, it's noted for its brightness, color accuracy, and sharpness, enhanced by Dell's signature Infinity Edge bezels that create a more immersive viewing area. Higher-end versions of the XPS 13 do offer OLED options for those seeking deeper blacks and more vibrant colors. In contrast, the HP Spectre X360 boasts a 14-inch OLED touchscreen with a higher 2880 by 1800 resolution and a 16 by 10 aspect ratio. This OLED display delivers excellent contrast with perfect blacks and vivid, factory-calibrated colors, also supporting HDR with IMAX enhanced certification. The Spectre's display can dynamically switch between 60Hz and 120Hz refresh rates, potentially offering smoother visuals when needed. For video conferencing and authentication, the Dell XPS 13 integrates a 1080p FHD webcam with IR sensors for Windows Hello. The video quality is decent, sharper than many competitors, but not exceptional. The HP Spectre X360 14 steps up the camera game with a 9-megapixel sensor capable of 4K video, promising bright and noise-free images. It also includes a physical privacy shutter, a thoughtful addition for security-conscious users. Furthermore, HP's MyHP software offers features like background blur replacement and low-light correction enhancing the video call experience. Both laptops feature quad-array microphones with AI noise filtering and support Windows Hello face recognition. The keyboard and touchpad experiences also differ. The Dell XPS 13 sports an edge-to-edge -edge keyboard with satisfying feedback, though the key travel is shallow. A point of contention is the capacitive function row, which can be difficult to use without looking and disappears in direct sunlight. The invisible glass touchpad, while visually appealing, is reported to be less responsive and harder to locate than traditional designs. The HP Spectre X360 features a backlit, chiclet keyboard with a combined FN and cursor layout. While the typing experience is snappy and responsive, despite shallow key travel, it lacks dedicated home end and page keys. 
The Spectre's touchpad is a large, precise, buttonless glass surface with haptic edge sliders for volume and brightness, offering a firm click mechanism and smooth tracking. Battery life is a significant strength for the XPS 13, likely benefiting from the power-efficient Snapdragon X Elite chip. It achieved an impressive 17 hours and 38 minutes in the PC Mark 10 applications test, surpassing its Intel counterpart and the Surface Pro Copilot Plus. Real-world usage suggests it can easily last a full workday. The HP Spectre X360 14, despite its power-hungry OLED display, also demonstrates excellent battery stamina, achieving over 18 hours in a local video loop test. Real-world use indicates it can similarly last through a full workday on a single charge, making it a strong contender for users prioritizing portability and longevity. The Dell XPS 13 Copilot Plus is powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon X Elite processor, featuring 12 CPU cores with boost speeds up to 4.0 GHz and an integrated Adreno GPU. Notably, it includes a dedicated 45 TOPS NPU, positioning it as a key player in the new wave of AI PCs. In productivity tasks and AI workloads, this Snapdragon chip can outperform the Intel Core Ultra 7 found in some configurations of the standard XPS 13. However, its ARM architecture leads to a mixed bag in application compatibility, with native ARM apps running smoothly while x86 apps require emulation, sometimes resulting in performance issues or bugs. In contrast, the HP Spectre X360 14 in the reviewed configuration is equipped with an Intel Core Ultra 7 155H processor, which features a combination of performance, standard, and efficient cores totaling 22 threads, along with integrated Intel Arc graphics. The Spectre X360 14 generally performs well in productivity benchmarks and shows smooth image editing capabilities in tools like Adobe Photoshop. Its integrated Intel Arc graphics allow for some light, casual gaming, although it's not designed for demanding AAA titles. When it comes to editing, the XPS 13 Copilot Plus handles light photo editing adequately with optimized or web-based tools. However, heavier creative applications might face challenges if not specifically optimized for the ARM architecture. The Spectre X360, with its Intel Core Ultra 7 and integrated Arc graphics, demonstrates capable performance in creative workloads like Adobe Photoshop and light video editing in Premiere Pro, benefiting from GPU acceleration where available. Gaming on the XPS 13 Copilot Plus is not recommended, particularly for titles with anti-cheat systems incompatible with the ARM architecture. Even supported games are likely to run at lower settings due to the integrated Adreno GPU. The Spectre X360 14 can handle some casual or older games at modest settings, but is not a dedicated gaming machine either. All right, folks, after diving deep into the Dell XPS 13 and the HP Spectre X360 14, the winner for 2025, considering its versatility, superior display, and port selection, is the HP Spectre X360 14. While the Dell boasts impressive battery life and a sleek design, the Spectre's overall package offers a more well-rounded experience for most users. What are your thoughts? Comment below.